Today, let's make another highly requested crumble copycat cookie recipe. Today, we are making the red velvet white chip cookie. What is up, you guys? It is Carly here, and you're officially cooking with Carly. And like I said, we are making the red velvet white chip cookie today. It's a copycat recipe from Crumble. So it is a dark red velvet cookie with ooey gooey white chocolate chips served warm. They're massive, of course. Let's get to it. So let's talk about our ingredients here. We have our butter. This is just salted butter. It's softened. I softened it in the microwave because I didn't pull it out in time to be room temperature. We have both of our sugars here. We have egg. I mean, there's two, so eggs. And vanilla, all-purpose flour. There's baking soda and salt. This is Dutch processed. We have a runaway egg. Oh, boy. This is Dutch processed cocoa, so it's like dark cocoa. That will give your, our red velvet cookie a really rich flavor. If you just have regular unsweetened cocoa, that's fine though, they'll still taste amazing. And then of course, our white chocolate chips. And last but not least, we need red food coloring to make these cookies red. That is how you make red velvet cookies red, is by food coloring. And I suggest getting a gel food coloring, not like the liquid stuff that you just get at the grocery store because it will add a lot of liquid to your cookies and they'll spread a lot more and you won't need to use as much of the gel. It's a lot more of a concentrated color. So this is a squeeze gel I just got from Hobby Lobby. All of the ingredient amounts can be found in the link in the description below. It'll take you to my blog and then you can go and print this recipe. It has all of the instructions, specific amounts, everything for you for when you make these cookies. To start making our cookies, we're going to cream together the butter and sugars in our stand mixer. This makes a really big batch of cookies, so I would suggest using a stand mixer instead of like an electric hand mixer, just because it's a lot of dough we're creating. So the butter is in, so let's put the sugars in. So brown sugar first, and then our granulated sugar. And we'll just mix these on about medium speed until it's nice and creamy and mixed together. Next, our wet ingredients are going to go in. So these cookies, it's the eggs and the vanilla. I'm gonna pour this vanilla in first. And then crack the eggs in there and we'll mix it all again until it's nice, smooth, incorporated. You know the drill. All right, let's mix these up. Now the dry ingredients are going to go in. So that's our all-purpose flour, cocoa, and the salt and baking soda. Just going to pour these into the mixer. We're just going to start mixing this slowly until it's all combined and then we will add in our food coloring. So start off slow. Now that the dough is all mixed together, we're going to add our food coloring. You're just going to add enough for it to turn red. So I'm just going to turn on my mixer and start adding just a few drops at a time until we get the red color that we want. Now that our cookie dough is this nice red color, we're just going to add in the white chocolate chips. I'm going to reserve a few to put on the top just because I like the look of putting a few extra chocolate chips on top. But if you don't want to put a few extra on, no big deal. You don't have to, just put them all in. 
So we're just going to buzz this around really quickly to mix in these white chocolate chips. All right, now it's time to scoop them out, roll them out, and get them in the oven. I'm going to use my one half cup measuring cup to help scoop out and divide the dough into equal portions. We're going to do about one half cup of dough for each cookie and this batch should make about 12 giant cookies. So let's get scooping and rolling. We're going to roll it into a ball like this and then just like slightly flatten it just like so. You'll want to just place about six cookies on each pan because they will spread slightly while they bake. So if you do more than six, they're gonna touch and they won't be perfectly round cookies for you anymore. And like I said, I like to add some extra white chocolate chips on top just to kind of make the cookies look a little pretty. So I just place just a few right on top of the cookie just so they look nice. The cookies are all rolled out. I put the chips on top. They are ready to go in the oven. The oven is set at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and these are going to bake for about 15 minutes. Now, before I put these in the oven, do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget that notification bell. And then go into the comments below and let me know what crumble cookie you want me to copycat next. I have an ever growing list and I will add yours to it. The cookies are out of the oven. They've been sitting on this pan for about five, 10 minutes. I knew that they were ready to come out of the oven because they started to crackle a little bit and they didn't look wet on the inside of the cookie anymore, like the top, middle, and they've also spread. So those are your indicators to look for for when you're wanting to pull them out of the oven. And then you want to let them sit on this hot pan for about 10 minutes before moving them to the cooling rack because the hot pan will actually continue to cook the inside of the cookie a little bit so it stays nice and chewy and soft, but not overbaked. I ended up baking these ones for about 17 minutes in my oven. So I set it for 15, but then I needed to add just a couple extra minutes because they weren't crackling yet and the center of the cookie was still a little bit like wet looking and shiny. Now these cookies are served warm. So once they sit on the pan for about 10 minutes, go ahead and serve them up. But, wow, mouth is watering. But they are also really good at room temperature or even cold. I like them, I like all of my cookies, like chilled in the fridge, really great. And these cookies also freeze really, really well. So once they've cooled completely down, you can put them into like a plastic zip top bag and put them in the freezer, freeze them for a few months and you just wanna pull them out of their freezer about 20, 30 minutes before you want them to be served so they can just come up to room temperature. They stay nice and soft. And they are, they're just like fresh. So they freeze wonderfully. So I'm gonna just transfer these over to uh, the cooling rack here and then we will taste test. And that is how you make crumble copycat red velvet white chip cookies. It's not hard, you don't really need anything special except for that red food coloring. And let's be honest, if you didn't have the red food coloring, they'd taste amazing still. So give this recipe a whirl. You are going to love it. Get some white chocolate chips in here in a minute. Mm -hmm. That is a great red velvet flavor, you know? Nothing but net. They're just so soft and chewy. 